So hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. Well, this is my new channel that I'm actually like continuing off from and it's from the Dajo Moves and now I've kind of made a new channel which is now Dajo Mystery. Well, the name kind of looks kind of cliche I know for sure because I know Dajo stays the main but then mystery comes from chemistry and I kind of a lover of chemistry. I'm a chemistry student and I'm really passionate about this particular subject and being able to share my knowledge either being organic, inorganic or physical chemistry is pretty much a key and I love to share it with everyone around me so they'll be able to embrace and actually love this particular course or I would say this particular subject in general. I was once a fan of biology but it got so complicated, too much memorizing a lot of stuff, wasn't able to actually understand the details about what was going on but chemistry is kind of a way for you to understand and actually be able to have that cognitive understanding of how mechanisms, reactions and also stuffs, other stuff actually work in the microscopic level and sometimes in the macroscopic level overall. So this video now I'm going to do is going to be my first unboxing to a particular chemistry instrument that is really dear to me. It kind of did to me when I was in first year of course and they kind of recommended we actually get a molecular model but wait I gotta change my shirt. Ta -da! <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing this I know I'm not supposed to do any chemical reaction there but let me just try to be some kind of chemist by the way and I wear my goggles and my goggles is kind of deflecting light towards my eyes and I'm kind of not seeing properly but I will try as much as possible to stay like this throughout the end of this particular video. So, over here is a molecular vision and it's quite a nice tool, not only for chemistry students, for mostly organic kids. Organic kids being able to see symmetry of molecules and also being able to visualize how transformations of molecules are actually being done during chemical reactions or sometimes in the transition state. So, in here we have the metallics design over here. We have organic molecules as well and we have inorganic molecular bonding structures as well. So it says here that this is a flexible molecular model. Kill it over here and it just shows the features and easy pull and push. Well, the other way around. <laughs> Coupling system. So the only advantage I, I, advantage I have for this is that it's really helpful in terms of visualizing things and being able to understand structures, symmetries, enastomers, diastomers and all these isomeric or conformation compounds and also being able to identify mirror images and polarizations of compounds when deflected by light overall. But the only disadvantage I have for this is that when you're faced in terms of like stressful moments like for example during exam periods, enter people pull and push all these bonds it just makes this click noise that's kind of irritating at some point quite distracting as well but once you're able to get used to this particular kit you won't need to use it anymore again because everything has actually been connected to your subconscious and you've been able to think about structures in your mind it kind of introduces a way for you to actually see things at a microscopic level in 3d space furthermore this also comes with a particular manual or a booklet which gives you a guide to framework molecular modeling and this is kind of introduced by the Daring Models Industries or so. Steven Daring is actually the one that introduces this overall and in here you have other structures that you can construct with all these models kits overall. You can construct octahedral, you can construct trigonal pyramidal, you can construct tetrahedral or going from 3D to 2D and also to 1D and in here you can construct a triatomic linear compound all the way to a trigonal planar and moving up to square planar over here and going from arcanes to arcane and alkynes it's really fascinating to see everything while constructing the compound that you want to see in 3D space so Let's open this and see what this got for us. Come on. Show me. 
nice so probably interesting to see what this has in store for us and um, that is it over here just like <laughs> a briefcase over here and this is the molecular kit manual this is the front over here this is the back as well huh this is beautiful so this is like an ice crystal larynx and this is using a molecular vision overall this is beautiful over here so uh, it has its website and also a contact you can get from them over here and this is like a manual on what you're going to expect or how to construct compounds going from one isomer to another isomer and also various balls that you can actually manipulate the compounds with overall and all the way to huh, sp3 sp2 or uh, looking at official projections as well fantastic stuff overall fantastic stuff overall and uh, it's pretty much most of the struggles that um, first year university kids actually face is being able not being able to actually understand all these big terms that they have to like know and once you're able to understand them using this molecular kit which I have over here then you can actually understand chemistry organic chemistry and also probably inorganic chemistry in a molecular level overall and the structures so let me conclude over here and just show you what they have over here so all these are all the different colors representing different bonds and also different um, hybridizations that you want to make for specific compounds over here you can pull this off over here and you can see that you can actually make more things from there overall so this is kind of nice it's nicely portable really affordable i just got it for like 20 dollars canadian dollars and um, over here you have other things you can actually manipulate like holding an arcane bond together pretty much fascinating overall and you have this overall there are a lot of those over here and you have some other bonding atoms over here this is quite impressive and uh, comes in different colors just to make it to be more visual enough to see all this over here now all these are all pretty much sp3 bonds over here and this you have other atoms and in different colors mostly we know that oxygen is mostly red so yeah you got it over here and some other atoms like let's say hydrogen uh, I don't know what hydrogen color is over here but I'll guess since this is the most popular here I'll give it a white <laughs> I'm not sure 100% well either blue or green is actually phosphorus or phosphorus or nitrogen overall so pretty much fascinating stuff over here and here are the ball stuff that you can fixed atoms through them overall and uh, that is about it for this and this is my unboxing for this particular molecular kit I'll be using them on my videos for you to actually see their structures properly and also see how they are related to their physical and actually chemical properties in chemistry so anyways guys again thanks for watching my video unboxing and also opening of my new channel Dajo Moves or Dajo Mystery. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and share with everyone around you and share the world of chemistry as you're embarking on the understanding of the organic, inorganic, and physical part of chemistry. Have a good day, guys. Peace. Love you all. Bye and be smart.